Okay, so this is a short tutorial on how to do an out-of-bounds dead warp in the sky region in Agalos. Um, also, how it can be used to skip a section of the game. So I've got this file that starts here, right after you do the, the tower. Um, basically you want to set up like these fire portals and die while you travel from one to another, which sets up the out of bounds that warp. So the setup I've got is the following. You do this, you make a portal, and you get killed while traveling between these portals. If you continue the game now, you will be sent up to the upper left. And a number of things can happen there above this cloud. So what I'll explain first is what happens when you go to the right is you end up in the section with the monkey. Uh, we'll be coming back to that soon. So going to the monkey will allow you to basically get to the monkey quest without having to do the pillars. Since, um, and I'll show you, I haven't done the pillar quest or anything. Uh, see, because the pillar is still where it should be. It's not here yet, so I haven't done that. Basically, we can do the monkey quests without doing the pillars that way. Um, something else we can do with this glitch is this. Um, so we do the exact same setup again, but this time when we when we do the out of bounds warp up to the cloud, we walk to the left. So I'm gonna be jumping and doing the up slice move while pressing left this time, which is gonna cause us to fall down, and then we clip into some weird out of bounds state and end up at the castle pretty much. You don't see um, the player now because we're somewhere stuck inside the wall on the right side. So if I press right, see, you can see <clears throat> we're all the way up here basically. Um, this in itself might not be the most useful glitch. Um, what is cool about this glitch though, is that you can also get there, but in an underwater state. Like, what do I mean with that? We do the glitch again. Hit it, create portal. Oops. <clears throat> so I didn't get into the portal this time, which means the glitch basically failed. Uh, the good news is that we don't lose much time if this happens in a run because you can set it up instantly again and this time it worked. Um, so the other thing that can happen after this dead warp um, is we can wait for the eye enemy or whatever it's called to go up and hit us once which happened now. I killed it now, it hit us. Okay, there's also another enemy which just kills us. Um, thing is, if you get hit once up there and then get the hell out of there, to the left or to the right, you can choose. Um, basically, what it does is it knocks you in this into this underwater glitchy state where the game thinks that you're underwater and basically if you create a bubble underwater you can 
fly or you can float through the water. So we're gonna get hit once now and then I'll move to the left and try to show off the glitch. Get to the left, get to the left, get to the left. Okay. It failed this time, but you're just gonna have to take my word that if you get hit once and go to the left, you uh, get knocked into an underwater state, which might be interesting in the future. Um, what I'm going to show now is how I would do the monkey quest if I'm running glitched percent or any percent. Um, so we don't need to do the pillars. Again, look, they're not into the right place. They're still up there. Um, so this is like the Lurulus Monkey Quests shortcut, I guess. Let's go. So I would go here, create that warp thing. There we go. Press continue. We go out of bounds. Um, and you keep going to the right now while doing this slashing jumping upwards motion. So I'm holding upright while alternating the attack and the jump button. You get hit by the cloud here later on, which allows you to escape this room because the gate to this area is still closed since we didn't do the pillars. So you get the monkey and basically kill yourself. What this does is it Spawns you back in the Sky City, but with the monkey. Here it is. Since we have the monkey, we can't warp, and we want to get to the wall as quickly as possible, or to the village as quickly as possible, Pyra village. So we're just gonna take this route this time. I hope I don't die here. Down here, down here. Please don't kill me. That was close. <laughs> okay, so I would go up to here and then create this portal. And what this does, if it works, it didn't work this time. Let's try it again. And it worked again. It didn't work. This is like literally the first time <laughs> these warps are causing me uh, troubles. So let's try it again. Ah, uh, there we go. So again, we get in this sort of uh, wrong warp state, which uh, basically takes us to the wall and out of bounds at the wall but you can easily get out of the out of bounds state by uh, doing the same as we do in the cloud so I'm doing this slashing jumping upright motion um, starting here so I'm holding right I'm holding up I'm slashing I'm jumping and what this will do is land us here so we didn't have to do the entire monkey walk up to Pyra village, you just basically instantly get there if the out of bounds warp works the first time that is. So as you know, we go here next and we do the monkey thing. Um, there's a little shortcut here, so before you do the monkey quest, it pays off to already create this portal and this one, and then you can do the monkey quests. And these portals will still be there, so this means that after you're done doing the entire monkey stuff, you exit the house again and you can immediately take the portal you created and go back there um, since you still can't warp 
after doing the monkey thing. So that's that. If you, yeah, if you do the monkey warp successful, it saves a lot of time, um, which can be cool for running any percent. <laughs>